Welcome everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video I want to discuss gun statistics in Modern Warfare 2. How much do they actually matter? Will what is being called the best gun in the game or the best gun in a class actually be best for you? So let's discuss gun stats versus actual performance for you as the player and hopefully in the process expand our way of deciding which guns are best for us instead of automatically choosing guns that have the best stats. For those of you who don't know, it is possible to analyse and break down all the statistics about the weapons in a Call of Duty game. So for example, we can find out, for any specific weapon, how quick it fires, how much damage it will do at different ranges, how much recoil it has, how long it takes to reload and so on. This can be done either by testing or seeing the actual in-game data or a combination of both. Whichever gun has the best statistics in a class soon gets to be widely known as the best gun in a class. We also begin to hear speculation about what is the best gun in the game and before you know it most people are using the gun or guns with the best statistics thinking it will help them play better. While I don't dispute stats as long as they are accurate of course, I personally don't think the gun or guns with the best statistics will automatically be best for every player, nor do I think they will help everyone play better if they use these guns. So let me explain. Something that doesn't always come across via reading stats is how a gun actually feels when you're using it in game. If we compare all the guns in a class, the feel and feedback we get through our controller or whatever control method we are using can vary significantly. If we take the Assault Rifle class in Modern Warfare 2 as an example, which is one of my favourite classes, some of the guns feel lighter and more responsive to my controller movements than others. We are all going to have different preferences in this area, and if we find a gun which actually feels right to us, chances are we will play well with it regardless of its statistics. Because we like how the gun feels, because we believe that we can aim well with it, we gain confidence. Confidence can breed success and in many cases confidence in a gun and the belief that we can do well with it matters much more than the actual numbers behind it. Think of a professional race car driver as an analogy. If they are going to race around a track which has a few corners, they need to consider more than just the car's acceleration and top speed. Handling and feel is of extreme importance, as is the driver's confidence in the actual car. Handling and feel of a car, just like the equivalent in a Modern Warfare 2 gun, are not things that we can determine easily from statistics. A driver may have confidence in a car if they have had past success with it, and we can have confidence in a gun and therefore play better with it if we have done well with it in previous games. I also feel that as long as the player knows what they are doing, the majority of the guns in a Modern Warfare 2 class are capable weapons. There is the potential to compete and do well with whichever gun we choose. As I record this video, the game has not been out that long. I have not yet tried every assault rifle in the game, nor have I tried every submachine gun or every gun in other classes, but I'm getting the impression that many guns will have what it takes to perform well. The next reason I don't think the best guns statistically will always make us play better is because of their appearance. Similar to a gun feeling right to us, if it also looks right, then that too breeds confidence. Many times in various Call of Duty titles, I've been disappointed in what has been widely recognised as the best gun in the game. Sometimes I have tried these guns, I can tell that they are effective, but I just don't connect with them and that means I don't perform well with them. It could simply be down to their appearance or perhaps their sights, or even their sound. For example, you may prefer to use a gun as is rather than put on an optic sight, but the guns may feel awkward to you because of how the sight looks. Even putting on an optic may not fix things about the gun's visual look that you can't gel with. 
let me give a quick example of what I am talking about by going back to another Infinity Ward game, Infinite Warfare. In the Assault Rifle class, the K-Bar 32 was recognised as being one of, if not the best assault rifles, and indeed one of, if not the best gun in the game by many, many people. I used the gun a lot, I could definitely see its potential, I had many great games with it, and I got a few deatomizer strikes with it. However, I never had complete confidence in it, it was not my gun of choice. Something about it, mostly feel, part visual appearance, I just didn't like. I felt I had more confidence in other guns, and played better with other guns, which were actually worse in terms of their statistics. Back to Modern Warfare 2 and why you might not play your very best with the guns that get a reputation for being the best in terms of statistics. It could be down to your playstyle. For example, a specific SMG could get a reputation for having the quickest time to kill in the game, and it could have an incredibly quick aim down sight time. However, let's say the time to kill is only going to be the best if you are close to your enemy, let's say within 8 meters for example, and to take advantage of this you need to run around quickly all over the map trying to get close to opponents and using the quick ADS time. If this is not you, if this is not your playstyle, it just won't work for you. You'd be better picking a SMG which offers better damage and time to kill at a longer range, even if overall it is a slower time to kill than the other gun, and the ADS speed is also slower too. The same applies to assault rifles and so on as well. Whichever gun is meant to be best in a class, and statistically has the fastest time to kill, doesn't mean it is best for you unless your playstyle fits with the stats perfectly. The recoil must suit you. You need to typically encounter enemies at the distance where the gun performs best. The look and feel of the gun must be to your liking. You need to have confidence in your ability to target an enemy with it and so on. If you are happy with your playstyle, I think it is best to find a gun that suits that, rather than change your playstyle to suit the so-called best gun in the game. One more reason that you might not play your best with what people typically call the best guns is simply due to latency and your internet connection to the game. Perhaps the so-called best gun in the game may work best for short to mid-range encounters, but to encounter enemies at this specific range you may be forced into a lot of quick reaction encounters. Even though most people have decent internet connections now, there is still definitely an advantage in a fast-paced game like Modern Warfare 2 to those people with the very best connections. If your connection is not top tier in terms of latency, you may well do better trying to avoid encounters which rely on fast reactions, and therefore stay further back using say an assault rifle which excels at range. Here you have more time to react and you can pick your encounters easier. As I said at the beginning of the video, I don't doubt the statistics behind Modern Warfare 2 guns and in a perfectly controlled playing environment where every shot hits your target, I know the gun will do as the stats promise. But as players we are all different and have different preferences in how we play, different preferences regarding how a gun feels and looks and so on. So what are my recommendations for people who play Modern Warfare 2 in order to find the best gun for them rather than what is called the best gun in the game? I suggest that you try out as many guns as possible, not only to find what works for you, but also to just enjoy the game. Part of the enjoyment in Modern Warfare 2 is unlocking new guns and trying them out. We should definitely do this instead of just focusing on the specific gun or guns which we are told are the very best in the game. It's also really nice to play games, for me personally, where players are using lots of different guns from across the various classes. For me at least, this is where I find games most enjoyable, there is good variety and I need to think when I play and always be ready for anything. My next suggestion is to do most of your testing and experimenting with guns in a custom game against bots. 
This eliminates the possibility of another player having a better connection than you. It eliminates all those strange deaths and other things that can happen online, and it gives us a truer reflection on the gun that we are using. Playing Modern Warfare 2 online can be frustrating. I love the game, but in all Call of Duty games we always encounter frustrating and strange deaths. Things that we can't explain, and such things can incorrectly make us think that the new gun we have just unlocked is rubbish when it actually isn't. So give guns a good try in a few games against bots before making your final decision on them. And that's it from me for this video. I hope it has opened up your mind regarding how you consider which guns to use, and I also hope it maybe brings more enjoyment to you in your online games in Modern Warfare 2 because you're trying a variety of guns. Thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to see more of my content. I'll see you soon for another video.